Hello again everyone, it's um, me Wild ICB, and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Um, recently Forensis released a text based tutorial on how to start a new game, a new game project that's um, simple. Well, there's been a lot of problems on the forum with people not being able to follow it correctly. Even myself, I had problems. But since I, I got it down, I wanted to make a video tutorial um, explaining in everything he tells you to do, but in a video form credit goes out to Horensis. I did not create this. This is just a video version. So to begin with, as always, I started with I started with an empty uh, bear UDK install. Now when I say bear, I mean straight from the installer. I do not mean the bear install and bear version. So as you can see, I have all my files. There, see it. Everything's there. Nothing's been deleted. Now to start off with what we're gonna, what you need to download is the mygame.zip. Now this, this can be found on his forum post, the horrend, the about the simple game, on the UDK website, um, forums website, as well as on my mirror, which I will link on when this tutorial is uploaded. Now, what we're gonna do is in here in the source folder, we'll make our new game. It's a folder. Now let's name this my game. Okay, inside my game, let's make another folder called classes. Now we're going to copy these three folders, these three files, in here. Now I'm just following this tutorial straight, so, so there will be no confusion. After you do this, now what you're going to want to do is go to the UT game folder, the config, then you're going to want to open up default engine.ini so first it's on read right now it has read only so you're going to go to properties remove read only apply okay press okay now open up open it up here we need to scroll down to unreal editor engine as you can see right here what we need to do is plus plus edit packages equals my game so let's just say this. This is just a compile list. It'll be the final thing compiled. Now you need to delete utengine.ini. Now to verify, in my last tutorial, I told y'all to edit the ut game and the utengine.ini. Well, if there's a problem, they'll be overridden with the default. So you want to modify only the default.inis and then delete the, the ut game inis and they'll be regenerated. Now this may sound confusing at first, but it makes sense. So trust me on that one. Now what you want to do after you delete the utengine is open up the front end. And press make. Now here it will start compiling new scripts as well as regenerate our UT game, our UT engine.ini. Now since this is a blank install, I mean a fresh install, this is going to take my computer a bit of time. But if you've been using the editor and and the front end as well as compiling scripts, this will this shouldn't take as long on your machine. Okay, as you can see here, our scripts were compiled. My game and the scripts that were part of my game were compiled, and everything's good. So now, what we're going to do is open up, close this, open up my computer, go to our UDK directory, 
and go to our binaries. Now, here we're going to create a shortcut. So go to the very bottom. Oops. New shortcut. Browse to our UDK directory. Binaries. And find the UDK.exe. Click it and press OK. Now what you're going to want to do is type in editor dash log. <coughs> now what this will do is open up the editor while it's logging. So we'll get a, a console um, with its log information. Press next. Let's save it as editor dash log. Finish. Now open up editor dash log. Here is the console window. Ah, Here is the console window showing all the log information from the editor. This can be useful if we seem to have a problem with our map and we need to show people and tell people exactly what's going wrong. Let's wait for this to start up. Now, when you're logging, it's going to take a bit longer for everything to start up, but it does give you more information of what you're doing. Okay, so we got the tip of the day. Okay, and now let's close our content browser. Now, here we're going to make our simple level. So, right click cube, set it to 1024 on all axes. Click build, and now click the CSP add button, CSG add button. Now what we're going to do is hold down the left mouse button and move into the cube. Ah, and hold the left and right mouse button so we can step inside. Now as you can see I made a mistake. I forgot to set the cube to hollow. So what we're going to do is let's just start a new map. No to all. Build. hollow and see as you now we have our hollow cube okay so what we're gonna do is after we're inside add actor add player start so let's just position 